This is a Monte Carlo simulation made in Gamos, showing 6 MV photons passing through a tissue simulating phantom. These high energy photons will cause a release of some electrons. If the free electrons are traveling faster than the phase velocity of the tissue, Cherenkov emissions will be observed along the electron's path. The clinical linear accelerator delivers approximately 4 microsecond bursts of radiation at a 360 Hz repetition rate. When the radiation beam is on, Cherenkov light can be observed with the camera. The Cherenkov light can also be used to excite phosphorescent compounds in the sample. Phosphorescent compounds exhibit a specific lifetime intensity. In our case, phosphorescence intensity is quenched in the presence of oxygen. If we acquire images at specific times after the radiation pulse, we can estimate the phosphorescence lifetime. In certain circumstances, this lifetime estimate could then be used to estimate the partial pressure of oxygen in the local environment. Putting it all together, here we can see a thin radiation sheet being scanned over a mouse that has two flank tumors, each injected with a phosphorescent compound. The Cherenkov image shows the position of the radiation beam whereas the five rightmost panels show phosphorescent images at different delays after the radiation pulse.